the Sports Vote Campaign Podcast. Invest in sports. Tuesday, December 15th, 2020. Make sure you tell the Internal Revenue Service and all your taxing authorities where you are about your crypto transactions. Nobody moves from Beverly Hills to Boca Chica, Texas. All of you who think that Elon Musk is abandoning Hollywood to live in the middle of nowhere are out of your mind. This is nothing but a tax dodge. My best friend of 35 years works at SpaceX. Elon sleeps on the couch, needs to be near the starship because that's where the work is. Unlike that story, we're moving all of our entities from Texas to California. The opposite of what seems to be the drumbeat right now in the anti-government move in our country. Google grants $10,000 a month. We can deploy that for the Sports Vote campaign as soon as we get a good control. A control means a complete pitch for what the sports vote campaign is that can be directed towards the outside world. I don't have that, but when I do, uh, we can deploy $10,000 a month in Google Grants money to support that campaign, which should do a very good job of keeping the programs funded so that we can achieve the goal of the first public fundraise. So some years ago, I had a discussion with my dad about all the political things that I saw while I was in Costa Rica. Specifically, I saw abject poverty on one side of the freeway and luxury on the other. And he would tell me over and again and over and again that it was really simple. They don't care. I couldn't process that. I couldn't understand why somebody would get into power and then not take care of the people that they basically were elected by. And that's, it just made no sense to me. After watching what's happened in our country in the past five years, I understand. So in 2008, when I first put the website up that hosts several of our sites, um, the the main domain name is mypoliticalpower.com. So the concept behind that was, or is, eventually uh, to to, um, show how you can use sports, sports markets and, and sports finance to gain political power at a personal level. So that's kind of the big picture. Behind the economics, uh, of course, uh, is the politics. So uh, political power through sports. So much like the concept of the ASM system being a virus of sorts to put into the financial system, a positive virus, which will create jobs and suppress gambling and a lot of other things. The same idea for later uh, is the legal system. As I've said many times, I think that we're losing about 10% of GDP to just total nonsense uh, in the legal system. And that has been further amplified by watching this crazy parade of more than 50 lawsuits by the Trump administration, which have really just been for nothing more than PR value while destroying the democracy in the process. Uh, I have no faith in the legal system. I have less faith now in it than I ever did. And I think it's time for something new. So, uh, Section 230, the days of being able to um, destroy people's reputations and lie publicly with impunity behind anonymous names, that's coming to an end. Mark my words. Facebook first. Follow the news. That's where it's going to start. So, Seth Leon's California State Appeal, which was filed, by the way, Judge Craig Carlin, and I hope this finds it to, its way to you, you son of a bitch, you are going to pay for what you've done to me and this company. You're going to pay for it. I've done some research on you, sir, and you seem to have a history of this kind of garbage. So, I'm even more emboldened now than I've ever been that this is going to be put down. And further, if you're not careful, I'm going to dig into your record and come after you and cost you your judgeship. You are a son of a bitch. A son of a bitch. Craig D. Carlin, Superior Court Judge Santa Monica, California. And Mr. Leon, keep that checkbook warm, buddy, because 
you got two tracks. Two tracks. The federal track and the state track. 2020 is the lost year. Oh, let me get back to Carlin for a second. He doesn't seem to want to have his face anywhere. It's fascinating in this day and age that you can't find his picture, just like you really can't find any pictures of Mr. Leon either. And that's not normal. That's just not normal. People that don't have their pictures on the web these days are hiding from something. So there's something really messed up about all this, and we're going to get to the bottom of it. 2020, the lost year. Definitely the lost year. Things that we had on the books, and basically everybody had on the books for 2020, didn't happen. Really just treading water, trying to not to let things fall apart. 2021, definitely going to be better. It's not going to be instantly better, but it's definitely looking up. Special IRS deductions this year um, are in effect for anybody who wants to contribute to any of the things that we have out, any of the programs we have out. There are special uh, tax deductions. New Sports Economy Institute is a 501c3 uh, nonprofit. Two to one split on January 1st, 2021. Two to one split on January 1st, 2021. That's across the board, both markets, pilot market and learning market. Additionally, the Q4 2020 uh, payments will be uh, right before that on December 31st, uh, running about 24 hours to for the process to complete. I'm seeing some talk about the Roaring Twenties um, in various news articles. I do believe they're getting a little bit ahead of themselves, but um, I think it is coming. I don't know that it's going to be 2021. Uh, I would say probably 2022, 2023. Uh, just look at the history books. On the backside of other uh, pandemics, once they were arrested, uh, the economy generally uh, roars back to life pretty fast. But I, I think we're getting a little ahead of ourselves on this timeline. It's probably going to be more like the, uh, the, the 2022, 2023 before you really see that. I think 2021 is more of a um, recovery stage uh, in the timeline. So there are lots of companies and people moving all over the place, uh, relocating. Lots coming out of San Francisco, which I totally understand. It's extremely expensive, and I don't know that there's a good business case there with all of the remote work now that everybody is doing. Sports Illustrated in Costa Rica. So this is pretty interesting. Um, once upon a time, there were fact checkers. Uh, you know, stories would not appear without vetting the facts. You know, this back in 2005, I believe it was, versus now when it's completely the opposite. It doesn't seem like anybody even wants to check the facts on anything, which is bizarre to me, but that's the world we're in. And regarding government communication, I want to be very clear about something. There has been no communication whatsoever from any government agency whatsoever to any of the team or any of us outside of what I already disclosed with the SEC case. That's it. Any other commentary is just pure bullshit. Okay? It's not true. And the next time I receive something from anybody, even if I'm told to keep it quiet since I've been stabbed in the back, it's not going to happen. Not only am I, am I not going to bring it up, I'm going to broadcast it. So anything that I'm sent from any government agency at this point, from this moment, December 15th, 2020 onward, I'm going to make a public spectacle out of it. There's not going to be any more of this. There's not going to be any more of this. It's going to end. So, regarding the election, democracy won, fascism lost. Thank God. One billion empty hotel rooms. I just saw this story this morning. It's, it's mind-boggling. One billion empty hotel rooms. And then finally, the Sports Vote Manifesto, I've re-subtitled it. Uh, the Sports Vote Manifesto, Bible of the New American Dream. The Sports Folk Manifesto, Bible of the New American Dream. So this is going to be an anchor for everything. Uh, I learned from Mr. Hazlett and all of my exposures with Hero Club how to develop and promote a book and put it on the New York Times bestseller list. I know the way to do this. Um, it is not a mystery. It is a process. And we're going to follow that process and put this on the New York Times best list, bestseller list in this coming summer. That is a main thrust of my efforts, and it will be the springboard for all of our press coverage. Again, we know how to do the press. We've been doing it since Costa Rica. And then that 
is uh, what we'll bring in. If, if we don't get to it before then, that is what will haul in the leads that we will need to sort through in order to find the first public fundraise. I'm confident that plan will work. We just need to walk it out. So thank you for your time. Please stay safe. We're losing 3,000 people a day in the United States to this disease. That's the truth. That's a 9-11 attack every single day. Okay? That's a fact. So please, please be careful. This is a very, very real threat at the moment. And it's getting worse at the moment. Bye now. Whoosh. <sharp inhale>